This is Heidi Moore reporting for the Alliance Conflict News, February 16th, 2162. Alliance High Command has reported that the ANS Yamato and the 45th Flying Tigers have engaged and destroyed the coalition carrier CS Pukov and its fighter contingent, the Black Guard. This action has triggered celebrations across the Alliance as the Coalition Squadron and its spaceship are responsible for the destruction of the Alliance's most elite squadrons and for some of the war's greatest atrocities. The 45th Tigers, a fighter group formed less than two years ago, has proven to be the premier squadron of the war. Further reports indicate that the war criminal Ivan Petrov, who escaped the engagement, is on the run. Alliance officers vow that he, too, will soon face justice. Other members of the Alliance fleet have pushed forward, drawing lines of conflict around Jupiter. However, there are reports that the Coalition, bolstered by new fleets created in the shipyards on Earth and Mars, is preparing for another assault on Alliance forces. This is Heidi Moore for the Alliance Conflict News, signing off until next time. Flying, nice Ace. work, Ace. The time has finally come for an assault on the Coalition's forward command station. Intelligence has discovered that the command station is equipped with an ion weapon, similar to the one we encountered a few months ago that destroyed the Victorious. This makes a frontal assault by the Yamato suicidal. We also believe that Admiral Kulov and Ivan Petrov with the remnants of the Black Guard are stationed on the base. We take them out and the Coalition is going to feel it throughout the whole sector. This will be a two-pronged offensive. The Yamato will launch the Tigers and Gamma Wing, which will be joined by the pirates from the ANS Intrepid. Using warp projectors, both squadrons will get in close to the station and begin the attack. The Tigers' first objective is to take out the station's defense fighters, while the pirates provide cover. Once the base's fighter defenses are clear, Gamma Wing will move in and take out the station's power core and gravity drive, disabling the ion weapon. The Yamato and Intrepid will then move in and finish the job. I'll be coming along for this operation. The captain's not happy about it, but we're going to need every ship we've got out there. This could be the turning point of the war, people. The Alliance is counting on you. Prepare your ships. Let's go, Tigers! You're clear for launch. Good luck. Control out. Okay, people, listen up. I don't have to stress to you the importance of this mission. We pull this off, and we can alter the course of this conflict. Everyone ready? Yes, Colonel. Let's do it, Tigers. Pirates, what about you? We're ready when you are. Okay, let's move out. We're ready to jump out. the diversion. Meanwhile, two cloaked Hades hiding behind the Sheriff will get in close and torpedo the Boradin. Wish us luck. We're all gonna need it. Let's go. Board projector calibrated. Ready to move out. It's 
huge! Watch out, there's an ion cannon. Can't tell if it's operational, but keep on guard, everyone. Incoming fighters! Engage at will! Victory or death! Prepare to die, pilot!
They've got lock! Alpha 5, give me the scan of the Boradin. One of those torpedoes must have done some damage. I'm on it. Let's see what we got. Come on. Okay, there's an opening next to the Boradin's control center. If we lay some charges around this area, it should disable the ion cannon. Yamada Control, I'm relaying the coordinates. I'm looking at a dead man. The ion cannon is targeting us. Get out of its range. I'm looking at a dead man. Killing you will be a pleasure, pilot. Nearly there. Yeah, charge attached. Attack my target. No problem. Compliments of the alliance. Killing you will be a pleasure, pilot. No, 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 no! Whoa, great shot! I'm looking at a dead man. 
Permission to land. We're rolling out the carpet. 
Nice work out there, pilot. All right, settle down. I'll try to keep this brief. As you know, I'm not one for backslapping, but this has to be said. For a rookie squadron, you've done an incredible job. Looking at the latest stats, you've got the highest kill ratio per pilot in the fleet. An incredible achievement, considering the obstacles we've had to overcome. Let's just make sure we hold on to that top spot. Hooah! You can bet on that, ma'am! Yeah, well, I hope you can back that up for a change, Horrigan. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. High Command has informed me that the Coalition is withdrawing on all fronts. The enemy may be wounded, but we have to stay alert. A Coalition counteroffensive is inevitable. Now I suggest you take advantage of the break-in operations and take some well-deserved R&R. Good work, team. Dismissed. Let's go, Tigers! Two weeks ago, there were celebrations throughout the Alliance with the news that the Flying Tigers, in a daring raid, destroyed Coalition's headquarters off Jupiter, a move which, along with the Forward Fleet's liberation of Jupiter's moons, has finally evened the odds in this conflict. Excitement intensified with reports of the death of war criminal Admiral Kulov, one of the Coalition's most senior officers and the man responsible for the infamous Base Kennedy Massacre at the outset of the conflict. Killed in the attack was Coalition ace Ivan the Butcher Petrov. This finally brought to an end the long-running feud between the Tigers and the Black Guard. On a sadder note, Alliance Command reports the loss of Klaus Steiner, who died while helping the Tigers destroy the Coalition headquarters. Squadron leader Steiner is to be awarded the Medal of Honor, the Alliance's most prestigious decoration. Now, two weeks on, the Yamato has returned to Fort Bear for repairs. Many felt that the Yamato would never make it back from what some sources believed was a suicide mission. But as this live footage shows, the Yamato has indeed returned to a well-deserved hero's welcome. This is Colonel Carl Bradwell signing off for Alliance Conflict News. <laughs>